I just want to thank V Life Sports for sending me some gym equipment. My life goal is to have a home gym, and this has started. I got three equipment. An Olympic barbell that is 48 inches is not the full length. This one is four feet, I believe, and the original normal Olympic barbell is seven feet. Um, this is like the small version, but you can still load it up. I also got a set of dumbbells, so it goes up to, the total goes up to 45. So that means that both of them equal to 45, but there's a lot of versatility. You can kind of load up one to be the max weight. Then I got a pair of dumbbells, 15 pounds. This one has neoprene. I hope I said that right. So this is one of them. This one's a 15 pound one. It is obviously made of a different material, the one that I just had you print. Then we got the dumbbell set. And it does come with the clamp, not like, you know, the normal clamp. It's twisty, twisty, twisty. You just twist it. The largest plate that you'll have is 5.5 pounds. So this is a very light dumbbell set. And we finally have the bar. The selection I was most excited about because it does not like a bar. And as you can see, it's not the full length one. Um, and this is about, probably about around 25 pounds and it did come with its own clamp. I could not get the weight for the barbell because it was all sold out. This was also around Father's Day or Memorial Weekend around that time. So thank you for sending me all these things and I'm excited to start my home gym. Hey! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So I made a purchase. If you guys don't know, Gymshark did have a sale recently. And obviously I have to take advantage of sales because I'm not gonna buy full price for things that are kind of expensive and it's only like one item so I'm not gonna spend like three million dollars on one thing. So I wait for sales and then I buy. And if you know Gymshark always has sales multiple times a year so you can always get something. They run out of sizes but they don't run out of sizes as frequently as Alphalete or Navigation. So I took advantage of that and I want to show you guys what I got because I love the things that I got. So we're gonna share it together and I'm excited. I keep changing my hair so I'm sorry. Also I got a new tripod so you guys are actually standing on something. You're not, you're, I'm not on the floor doing nothing. That's awesome. I got three sports bras. I got two of the Ruche. Is it Ruche or Ruched? Ruche or Ruched. I got these two colors. A light blush pink and then a coconut white. And then a tan color in a different collection. This is like the normal basic training bra that they have. The one that goes like this. These have adjustable straps unlike this one. This one's light support. This one's I think medium support. I have a lot of sports bras but I don't have sports bras that I actually wear and that go with everything that I want. Sometimes your mood changes so you want like different colors. Or you just want something essential that will go with pretty much everything. So it took me a long ass time to actually finally get a bra that does that. I knew I was missing seeing a white one that's just basic and cute and then a pink one girly me was just wanting pink they used to have a pink sports bra but then it kind of got, got fucked up i finally got a pink one it goes with a lot of things and sometimes i'm just i just miss some pink i don't have any pink i have very cool tone always cool tone so i have a lot of blues i die for stage green and then i die for any type of blue i had to expand i expand my inventory my palette not to mention that the freaking fabric of this is so freaking soft so soft this is not sponsored by the way I got a coconut white color. I'm tired of the bleach white. I don't want a super white sports bra. I have about two sports bras that are white. So one, it's like I, I, I cut it and I put it as a halter and that's like a backless and it's cute and everything, but I just want another white. So I thought this was a great idea. If you guys aren't into the super, super, super bleach white, like super like in your face, this Shein one, this is just softer, softer. And this was very bleach white. Sometimes the contrast is way too contrasting. I also got small in the medium support bras and then extra small in this one. The reason why I got extra small is because they actually did not have small and then this is a light support so I was like mm. I want a little bit more support, so I just got a size down. I just had to make the sacrifice because I really wanted this color. I've been wanting a nice tan sports bra for a very long time, and I finally got it, and I absolutely love it. Is it a little bit too tight? Maybe, yes, but like, am I gonna lose some fat for the summer? Absolutely, yes, because you know, so now. I always wanted to try a Whitney Simmons shorts. So I finally did because it was on sale. Let me fucking tell you, it's really nice. Got the cycling shorts. These are a little bit longer, but obviously I don't care because I'm gonna put it up anyways. Yes, I got in a size small. So this is a, like a beigey, nude, cool tone type color, stone. I think it's something stone, I'm not sure. But I will say that the label, you know, this little has marks. It's been through something. It's really been through something. So I don't know if that's because of the sale, like this is just, was like, um, I don't know where the fuck in the, in the factory, but material is so soft and so light. I could even go up to a medium why because the waistband is incredibly compressive right here and it cinches right at the top so if you have a little bit of fat like moi, it will really like make a little indent but it makes your ass so 
fucking nice. Look how nice this pairs up with this. Tell me I did not do a great job. Tell me I did not do a great job. I know I did and I love it. My sister said that she loves the way this looks on my skin and I completely agree. And they have different colors of this too. I think this would flatter a lot of people. Just keep in mind the top is very compressive. It will cinch in your waist, but not in the best way possible. It's not like it's very long. I don't understand. They could have just not done this, but whatever to each their own it kind of reminds me of the outfitly shorts because guess who caught it more so if you guys want to see another video of me reviewing outfitly shorts let me know because i finally got my hands on them and for reference referencia i am 26 inches in my waist 35 on my hips and then 37 or 38 in the biggest part of my butt and added on with a little bit of fat so like my lower stomach especially is very fatty and then my waist is kind of fatty too that's why i could also go with the media because of how cinchy cinchy this is because it really like grabs onto my fat and sometimes you guys can't see it in the videos because obviously i pose whenever i am a little bit leaner i don't really have problems with waistbands but now that i do have a little bit a little bit more fat on it just i don't know i don't know what it is but like my stomach just just not take it mm, just not take it i don't know if you guys knew this but sometimes clothing brands uh, are doing some type of sale or whatever they don't let you apply a coupon on top of the sale but gymshark does because i did that and i just got like 10 percent off which is something you guys can apply a coupon on top of a sale this is the coconut white ruche training bra this is how the back looks like. Now let's go down to the bottoms. This is the normal length of the shorts, but obviously I don't do that. I do not do that. As I was putting them on, I realized <laughs> how like, you know how the cinchy part of the waist, the top that I told you guys about? It takes a little bit longer to put up the thighs because that shit is really, that shit is really compressive. I almost thought I couldn't even fit it, but like I can't, I can't. It goes up the waist. Drag it up your buttocks. When I worked out in these shorts, I cannot, I couldn't take out the tag like, like this. I was dealing with the tag the whole fucking time I was working out, so the tag kept coming out because this kept rolling over. They don't have a lot of compression in the bottom here. I love it, but it does have the compression up here. I don't know what it is, but it makes it feel look pretty fucking nice. I am absolutely gonna get more colors of this because I absolutely love it. It does kind of cinch in right here a little bit so you can see my skin coming out of it. And this is a small, so it should it shouldn't really do that. But then this is me relaxed. You see? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? That's me relaxed. That's me posed. Awesome. Squat proof. And it's not a shiny material either. Even though they don't have the butt scrunch and obviously they don't have the same dramatic effect, it still gives you a really good lift. It gives you pretty much everything that you want to ask for if you don't want to go like your cheeks separated and shit like that. <laughs> Anyways, let me try on the different, the other sports bras. Okay, so this is the sports bra. I'm not sure if it's giving like a super crazy contrast because these are kind of cool tone and this is a little bit warmer. But in real life, it looks really good. It's like, are they, are they thorny tones? So this is the extra small and it's dragging my rolls a little bit down. That's what it is. Does it give me a lot of support? I mean, it's better than the small. The small one would just absolutely not give me um, support. I do have another sports bra of this same collection, but in blue. That's what I was referencing because I knew how the small fit. Extra small doesn't give me too much of a difference. It does give me less coverage, so it kind of accentuates my armpit pad, but it's whatever. And it doesn't situate my little robes, but it's whatever. So, I still like it. On to the next. I mean, I don't look a little bit girly. Tell me this is not cute. Tell me pink does not look good on me. Tell me I've been missing out because I have. Look how cute. We're back to the small size. So if you guys don't know, I'm a 34B, but technically I think I'm a little bit smaller. I don't know. I I have to remeasure myself and then find my actual bra size. Just reference, 34B, small. Smalls on the sports bras always fit me really good. Smalls on the shorts always, or pants or leggings always fit me the best. Even this looks good together. I'm not mad at it. I'm not terribly mad at it. Will I really wear it that much? No, I don't, I don't really. I don't really know about this, but it's cute. If you guys are skeptical about buying pink stuff, don't be because look how cute this is. It's just very girly. It's like you're girly at the gym because obviously, Obviously, you don't really see a lot of pinks, but here, here it is. Cute, cute, 
cute. And it gives you really good support here. Really good coverage. Love it. Your tatas are not going to spill out if you get the right size. Unlike the light support, because that even happens to me with the small size that I have. Yes, I was scratching. I have a lot of spillage, but these do not give you spillage. I did not take any of the padding out of the sports bra because I did take them out before because you could just kind of tell that there was a cup in there and I did not like that. And I think that happens more whenever you wash it. I don't know. I usually do take the padding out, but I don't want to take it out anymore because I don't want my, my these to be on every app. Uh, like, and people's faces so they're doing a really good job and that's the end for my little gym shark little mini haul